have to go push so hard in order for it to work. It's probably some dead zone things that I need to adjust. That's why I'm using handbrake so much. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit, and something I've been wondering for a while, does the R5 work on Torque Drift? Well, we're here on Torque Drift on the PC, we're definitely going to find out. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all those are found in the description box below. Let's do it. So, Torque Drift on PC is something I haven't been doing a lot of because I couldn't get controller drifting down and you guys know I'm not the greatest at controller drifting so my wheels wouldn't work too well but today we have the R5 fantastic pedals and of course my handbrake and shifter but we are rocking the R5 base and that was what didn't really work too well last time we tried this so we're just gonna go to Lake Erie home track and we're gonna go full send with this and we're gonna throw caution to the wind with this and see what really happens so we do have everything hooked up we have clutch gas brake handbrake steering wheel works but it's a matter of how the feedback's gonna feel so full send that's a lot of feedback uh okay all right Oh, don't go into the wall, though. Gotta remember, you know, the track. So, we're just gonna go full send on this. Clutch kick it. And it kind of spun back into my hands. Oh, this actually works. And this actually feels pretty decent. Now it's third. Oh, I think... I think the R5 is uh, liking Torch Drift right now. Oh, full send. So overall, this is working quite well. And I uh, was not expecting it to work as well as it is. Uh, we're kind of flowing lines now. Oh, we need to try and run this, and we need to try to run this in an actual practice with uh, some actual uh, lead and chase. So let's go back to the main menu, because right now it's working, and I'm actually quite happy with how this is working. So we're going to go back into Lake Erie. Mazda R5 in its entirety is working right now. We're going to go probably the Formula Drift. Yeah, we're going to do the Formula Drift track, Formula Drift Pro track. And we're going to use my S15. Alright, so full send. S15. Lake Erie. On the R5. Oh, I kind of fell off the bank. Slightly. Kicking the third. Staying clutch to get through that zone. Kicking the fourth. Ah, oh, we kind of wavered there. We're kind of offline there. But we managed to stay in drift for the whole track, for the most part. On a wheel, in torque drift. I'm actually kind of excited. So now we're going to try and chase ourselves. Now, it's not the best score, I know that. There's probably going to be people in the comments saying, Oh, I do 100-some thousand point runs. Yeah, but I'm on a wheel. <laughs> and it's been a minute. I kind of got left at the light. I mean, I'm kind of tandeming with my ghost or my first run. I can officially say that I think Torque Drift works really well in the R5 except for when you cross the line of the wheel. Kind of likes to freak out. Um, so we're gonna try. We're gonna. I don't want to want to replay that. We are going to retry that. So when I don't knock it, sleeping at the light. Oh, I forgot I dropped down.
I mean, we can throw tandems in Torque Drift on a wheel. Oh, we're gonna have to go. Oh, we're gonna have to go try and battle some people now. <laughs> if you ever had a question, does the R5 work in Torque Drift? It definitely does. And uh, I'm actually having a blast with my S15 right now. So we're gonna go and see what battles we can get into right now. See if we can actually throw down some decent battle runs against maybe some randoms. Uh, multiplayer, what do we got? We got Gingerman, Cali Banks, uh, of course, drop out, Skyline. Well, because FD just was there, we're gonna have to try it. We're gonna try to go to Cali Banks in the this event. So we're gonna be chasing down. So if we get we can get an FD crate though. We can chase down Red Damber Cat. Okay. Let's see what we can do. See if we can catch Red Dan in this challenge in our 15. I should have shifted. I fell asleep. Fell asleep with the light. Gotta catch up. Gotta cut the bank mid bank just to kind of catch up to him. Oh, that Red Dan thing is running on the wall. And I missed that whole zone. But we managed to get at least the FD crate. So we'll, we'll accomplish that. We're gonna definitely try it again because, you know, I was kind of sleeping. We need to get up there. So we got the FD crate, which we will open up before we end this episode. We're gonna retry that because I need to not uh, forget to shift. Red Dead Super is just way faster. Gonna run that midline to try and catch angle. Oh, that was a little bit of over oscillation. Did not expect that. So definitely have to get used to that uh, quick snap. So that's something we got to get used to. Definitely not a set of course. <laughs> Maybe fine tune some wheel te wheel settings in the pit house app is probably something we're gonna have to do. Wall tap, trying to catch him. Off. We're gonna kind of straighten through that. That's not what we wanted to do. But I mean, better than the first run, but not the greatest. So maybe we should get Red Dan's car and see if we can actually, oh, we accomplished the second one. And run the same car and see if that helps. We're gonna change cars. We're gonna run the Supra. I don't know how it's gonna feel in the Supra, but we're gonna bring out his Supra in his old livery. With the big wang on it. We see so much faster off the rip. Oh, turbo lag got me. Oh, we're all over the place in his car. Ooh, car handles way different than my S15 does. I can tell you that for a fact. We're gonna do it without clutch. We're just gonna start with throttle. Okay, we don't need clutch. In that kind of helps. <laughs> we had it oh we had it this is this is so so nerve-wracking because we know Cali Banks has either been a good track for me or a bad track for me Okay, so his car feels a little bit different than my Supra. The wheel doesn't spin back as fast as I would like it to. Now that's something I need to either A, adjust in pit house app, maybe with my wheel spin, you know, ratio, the inertia settings and things like that. Which I think we're gonna have to fine tune some wheel settings for this. But the ability to be able to left foot brake like with my braking foot and not 
on a joystick is so much nicer. I know, we were way offline. We wouldn't win any, any judging calls or anything like that. But we're getting closer to completing the challenge. 33 is what we need to complete, and we had 31. We're just gonna go full time. If you guys are enjoying this and guys wanna keep seeing torches on the wheel, oh, okay, my wheel's turn. Okay, don't do that. We would've been instantly disqualified by FD judges. Keep seeing torture on the wheel here on the channel. Let me know down in the comment section down below. It didn't want to go. Oh, it's so that was uh that was looking super promising, but it didn't want to rotate how I wanted it to. Oh, the struggles of torture challenges, and especially torture challenges on the wheel. This is making the game so much more fun though. If I can fine tune some wheel settings, I feel like we might be able to get some really good solid runs. Okay, so this car likes clutch and it likes handbrake. We're gonna come to a stop. We're gonna try this again. One final time here for this episode before we open up that FD crate. Like I said, if you guys wanna keep seeing wheel videos here on Torture, let me know down in the comment section. though it's still not enough ah oh, so close yet so far I know I said that was the last time but I can't I can't leave it on that we need to go and try and get this now we'll open up the crate definitely breathing some new life here into Tor Drift with the ability to be using my R5 my handbrake and everything like that. Oh, I think we're gonna be like too short. Oh, so close. Wait, really? 300? Really? I know, I said one last time, but. We were 300 points short. Kind of getting the hang of it now. Step right there. Definitely not getting the hang of it there. All right. I know as soon as I stop recording, I will complete this challenge. But we're gonna go open that FD crate here in one more run. I need to not uh, be so super aggressive. I need to figure out why my brakes have to go push so hard in order for it to work. It's probably some dead zone things that I need to adjust. That's why I'm using handbrakes so much. I think we got it this time. As we go over the front of him, I think we actually did get it this time. Yes, we did. So we did accomplish the challenge. So I will take that as a win for this episode. And we are gonna go back and open that FD crate. Because, yeah, challenge with your board. Jeez, these guys are all the way up here. DNZs, DNZ, TV, TDBRs, DNZ, 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 DNZs, DNZs are everywhere. Let me see if we can take a look at his replay real quick. But he is all the way up in the leaderboard, number one, and it looks like he was running a nice R32. Oh, but it doesn't show Red Dan in there. Okay. Well, that's sad. So let's go open up that FD crate for our S15. And see what we got with this. Oh, we got two of them. We're gonna open these up to end this episode off. I mean, I don't have nitrous on this car, I don't think. 
So one final crate. And that'll do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of the description box below. If you guys like this and you guys want to keep seeing more, let me know down below. If you guys aren't subbed, tap that subscribe button, hit that like button. I appreciate all the support of all you guys coming back for more episodes. And as always, I like, thank you guys for coming back. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.